I have the Xbox connected to the computer, and my Wii remotes are connected to the computer, and the computer is doing connected to the router. And now I have some um, simple commands using the uh, the uh, behavior proxy. So I just have a behavior. It's just a one box behavior that uh, relaxes the joints. It's not relaxed. I can push this button, and now it's stiff. And then um, push another button to reaffirm the sitting position. Or not, let's just stand up. That's right. I have to, if it's already sitting, I have to, I have to add another flag in there to force it to sit again. All right, he stood up. So now um, with this controller, it's, if I uh, press the A button on here, it'll start to mimic my motion. And um, this is using the uh, joint-based stuff. So using the motion, right? motion, using AL motion, uh, yeah, using the motion proxy, I am directly controlling each individual joint of the arms to match uh, my joints as close as possible. And are you using inverse kinematics or is it uh, right now? It's joint? no inverse kinematics. Okay. It's all direct. Um, but that's because I'm in a direct mode. If I switch to inverse kinematics mode, um, shit, oh, there it goes. Now it's using inverse kinematics. So okay. to do the which inverse, do you prefer? What is the best to interact? Well, it turns out I need both oh. because with the inverse kinematics, uh, what it's doing is uh, I'm using the comparing the now's torso position to his hand position mm -hmm. to do the control. So then, based on my height, I just create the same vector between my torso and my hand, mm -hmm. and so it's that. So in inverse kinematics mode, I can make kind of very slow adjustments. And then when I stop moving, it's relatively stable. Yeah. And I can move kind of precisely. And his hand position is kind of close to where my hand position is relative to the body. Okay. Pretty, pretty close, I think. But with the inverse kinematics, it's slow. And also, if my arm is in a position that the inverse kinematics can't calculate, Mm -hmm. It won't do it. Okay. I don't have any interest. So in that case, then I switch to the direct mode, and I can kind of do the big motion. Okay. And in the direct mode, I can move faster too. But, okay. You you set uh, everything quite uh, uh, reactive. It's why the robot is checking a bit, no? Mm -hmm. Why the robot is uh, moving like uh, checking? It's a little bit jerky, twitching a little bit. Um, the data from the connect. Okay. It's shaking just like that. But you can use the uh, motion to smooth everything. No? Um, yeah, I, 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 this is very direct path right now. Okay. It's not okay. a nice algorithm. Okay. It is just I glued the things together. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. It's not difficult at all to do, to do something like this. Well, um, yeah, yeah, I guess. You just have to change a value somewhere. Oh, in between this position and this. Yeah, if I just have it interpolate smoothly. Um, yeah, it's a little less jerky. Yeah, IK mode, but in between the jerks in the IK mode, it's probably calculating the inverse schematics. Mm -hmm. um, so then, the the Kinect doesn't have a, it can't track your wrist data. So I'm using the rotation of the Wii remote to mm -hmm. control the guy's wrist. Yeah, nice. And then uh, this button here. Close the hand, but actually, um, that hand motion—it's kind of slow and jerky. Just maybe I'll change my code, but in the uh, 1. Uh, 8.16 version, the hand opening and closing was smooth. Yeah. And now it's kind of doing this. Oh. But I think I'm flooding too many messages into the um, uh. For for the motion yeah, proxy, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I'm, I'm doing the motion proxy too fast. To the, okay. Yeah. All okay. right. Got to resync with the connect here. There we go. So also you can have some help from directly from the guy who are writing the, the, the motion uh, library. 
Ah, uh, before they could let you stand back up. Hmm. Yeah, d definitely the motion can be improved for that. So uh, what you just heard is a, a, a limiter. Oh, yeah, the clutch. Yeah, it's not a gear. It's not gear. Right, right. That it's was a the limiter. Clutch slipping inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, dangerous for the robots. Hmm. So then uh, if I push this other button here, the Kinect starts looking at my first position, and then I can walk, and then uh, now we'll copy my walk 